Thanks for tuning in everybody to this new episode of Guitar Battles. Um, today, two dreadnoughts, two aged dreadnoughts. That's a conversation starter on itself. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Uh, we chose this because we wanted to highlight this guitar in particular, which I'm holding, and it's the Alistair Atkin Essential D, which I will be uh, talking about shortly. What are you holding, Kuhn? I'm holding a D18 Authentic Aged uh, 1939. Which is probably one of the probably better, one of the best dreadnoughts yeah. that we have in house right now yeah i think this is in the 18 line the top of the line yeah yeah and considered by many just the best d18 yeah just oh, yeah. to be the absolute yeah yeah Let's have a Coons way, let's talk some specs. So what we have here, this uh, Martin has a Adirondack spruce top, yours has a Sitka spruce top, yep. but both baked. Uh, so both uh, guitars have similar kind of um, torification treatments, even though they all hold their own recipes on how to bake them. And names. And names, so either torification, uh, H-tone, VTS, VTS uh, you have all different kinds of names. Um, 
but it's basically all the same. Um, then I think the rest of the specs are pretty similar except for bracing. So we have a rear shifted bracing here where you have the standard Scalloped. in scallop bracing. Yep. Uh, but mahogany back and sides. Check. Mahogany neck. Yep. Open gear tuners. Both. Uh, aged this is Waverly. Well. Yeah, both aged and yours Waverly as well? Uh, Goto. Goto. <laughs> so specs wise, I think uh, we know what we're dealing with. Something to keep in mind is the authentic Martin is in a whole different price range. Yeah. And that's what made it interesting for us because they're both very vintage inspired AT models, both aged, both baked tops. But the Martin Authentic is authentic. It's regarded as one of the better dreadnoughts out there especially with the 18 style and the Atkin on the other hand is on the more affordable end of the spectrum which is around 3500 euros if I'm not mistaken. 3.6. 3.6. Yeah. Um, it's handmade in England by Mr. Alistair Atkin and he's always been fascinating with rebuilding and rebuilding and reshaping, reshaping vintage models starting with Gibsons and ending up with uh, Dreadnoughts as well. He adds his own swing to it. So, for instance, the recipe that he uses uh, in terrifying the tops is completely secret, and he's been doing it for years, way longer than the rest. Yep. And um, that gives him, uh, yeah, some some plus points, and also his own spin-off. For instance, this one is really period correct with the long saddle and yeah. all the specs, and even up to the last uh, nut and screw, uh, where you have the standard drop-in saddle. Um, so there are some minor changes, um, but both guitars are vintage inspired. Yep. Yeah. I really like this one. Yeah, I really like this one. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you love the Martin tone... Uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Then the Martin is the way to go. So even though they replicated D18, um, he, he really gives a good own feel to it and own kind of style to it. So yeah. Yeah, it might be my English roots, but I really dig the feel he gives to them. I, it's crazy, it's good, it's really good. All right. So what do you think of aging acoustic guitars? <laughs> We're really curious. Um, I kind of like it, I kind of um, enhanced it right now. So in, in the, at the start I really disagreed with everything, you know, replicating old vintage guitars, but right now is they, they really found out how to do it. They got the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I kind of like it. But um, yeah, if you have a different opinion, just let us know in the comments down below. And which one was your favorite? Let us know too. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next week again. And uh, bye bye. Do yeah. Alrighty, so the Martin here, Edwin X Bruce Top versus Sitka Bruce Top. Yep, Sitka. Both baked. Yep. Yeah, they call it different way, but the principle is the same. Put the boot in the oven. Step one. <laughs> Get the boot out, put it on guitar. No, it's bitten down. It's just. <laughs>